Welcome back craft beer lovers. Um, I'm going to try something a little bit different today and uh, I apologise for not trying it earlier but this is not a bottle of West Delavan 12, this is a bottle of homebrew and this one was brewed by uh, Bill Adams who's one of our We Love Craft Beer members and um, he brewed this especially for me, well maybe not especially for me but uh, with me in mind uh, and it's a bohemian Czech style pills um, because I blew up as I normally do about uh, pilsners and how um, disappointing I find most of them. Um, so he brewed this one, it's a while ago now, it's probably a good couple of months ago, which means that obviously it's not in the best nick, but it has been refrigerated the whole time. Um, and I just started pouring it and realised I hadn't done the review. So um, I poured it, I, it got a really good head. In fact, I had it let to sit, sit and settle. Um, you can see it's still got a good head, so it's uh, certainly kept pretty well. And uh, this is, it's got a good, great head actually. Look at that, really thick, creamy, very tight uh, head. <coughs> great straw colour, get the light right in here, it's actually quite light, it looks darker in the picture, it's actually quite light. Uh, not a bit hard to get the light right in here, but yep, nice, nice straw colour, great head. A little bit sweet on the nose, um, and one that I described a little bit soapy, so I get that sort of impression from the smell that it's more lagerish. Um, as I've said a lot of times, I like really dry, um, peppery and uh, floral fragrance um, from a, a pills and this is a little bit thicker and a little bit sweeter perhaps than um, the ones that I really like but um, actually Bill sent me about I think three or four of these and I had a couple uh, I was pretty keen to try it, so I had one pretty much straight away. Um, I had one a couple of days after when I was thinking about doing a review, and um, I don't know, for whatever reason, I didn't. But um, I have to actually say, I reckon this has got better with age, Bill. Um, I don't know whether that's um, because of the fermentation process, or it's, um, you know, it's obviously finished the lager, but maybe there was a bit of, when I got it, maybe it hadn't quite settled. But uh, actually, this tastes better than I remember. It is really sharp, it is really dry, it does have that pepperness, peppery type <coughs> flavour which I really enjoy. It's got a short sharp mouthfeel, disappears straight away. Um, there's a lot of things that I like about this bill and considering uh, you're a home brewer and I'd have to put this up against some of the commercial brews that are out there, I'd have to say it's probably better than about <coughs> 75 or 80 percent of the commercial brew pilsners that I've tried. The more I drink it, the more I like it, <coughs> which is interesting because, <coughs> you know, like I said, I did try it a couple, uh, not long after I got it, which would have been a good, I reckon, three or four months ago. Um, and uh, <coughs> at the time, I thought it was just a, a little bit sort of lagery, a little bit sweet, <coughs> um, not dry enough, not crispy enough for, for my liking. But I think that's really improved over the over the period of time that's been stored. So. Um, Looks like a pilsner, got a great head like a pilsner. For me, the, the aroma's not quite there. It's more, if it was German lager, I'd probably get a German um, pils, I'd probably go, yep, that smells like a German pils. Um, Czech pils, probably not what I'm looking for, but that, you know, the, everybody looks for different things in beers. Um, in terms of the flavor, this is a really easy drinking beer. It, as I said, it's got better with age. It's nice and sharp, it's nice and dry, <coughs> and actually will make for a great drink and pills. Thanks very much, Bill, for putting yourself on the block there, um, and uh, hopefully my um, critique's not too harsh, um, And uh, but you know, I'm always gonna say it like it is when it comes to pills, um, and I'd say, 
good beer, well done, thanks for uh, making it for me, and uh, cheers to everybody. Remember, life's too short to drink bad beers. Cheers.